Hey everybody, welcome! It's day five of the Golden Goblet. Let me go let me go check on what we're doing today. I'm not gonna forget the timer. Today we are doing Child's Play Jack and Jill Kids Bike. Very unambiguous wording. Much appreciated. Child's Play. Jack and Jill signed up for the Guts and Glory games because their friends Double Dog dared them. Will they regret their decision or come out victorious? I have an idea of how it's going to turn out. Let's find out, shall we? Shall we? 15 minute timer, please. Thanks, Google Assistant. You're the best. Way better than that dummy Siri. Okay, here we go. My god. The, the sheer power. The torque that Jack is generating here is out. Oh, no, no. It's a little bit of a rollover risk. It's like a, a late 90s Ford Explorer, but you know what? That's fine. You know what would be sick is if we could get a laser to chop off this wagon. I'm gonna tell you. Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh, it's like we're carrying a heavy load. Just straight through. Straight on till morning, please. Like a, oh god, like a Blues Traveler album. Um, so... The bike was hard. Bike with wagon on the back is way harder. That's why I'm taking it slow. You're okay. You, I, though I'm stunned that it's true, you actually are okay. No, 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 no. Good stuff. This is a game of checkpoints. If you can get through and get one checkpoint ahead of some of your competitors. If it takes them three tries and you can do it in one, everything's okay. I don't even want to talk about the horrible Hannibal Lecter-esque pile of bodies that were left in my wake there. Or pile of body parts that were left in my wake. Ah! G great work. Great work. Okay, so you've been riddled with bullets like Boromir at the end of... Uh, the Fellowship of the Ring, but that's okay. All you gotta do is get to the exit here. I do see that there is a lot of traffic. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Yeet it! Yeet it! Yeet it! My god, we've done it. Okay, fan freaking tastic Nobody's more surprised than me. 11,000th place. You like jazz? Next track. Playing in traffic. No thank you. Jack and Jill, please. Alright, it's just Crossy Road. It, it's okay. It's just Crossy Road. It's not even hard. Okay, that one, I gotta be honest. I had a feeling we were taking one straight to the dome. I can't believe we made it through there. Don't forget, you can lean. There was no way that was working out. Turned him into... Freaking long pork, dude. Go, 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 go. Okay. Great, great stuff. Here's what I'm thinking. Hang out right here. Get your approach vector set. Run for your life. It's so unwieldy with this freaking radio flyer on the back of it, dude. I really honestly had hoped that would remove the wagon. It did get rid of some of the ballast. Nope, this is bad. That's a bad one. Literally turned me into a perfectly sliced sirloin steak. Okay, what if, what if we take the back road here? What if? What, wouldn't that be nice? If we could take the back road? I mean, we can't even, because the thing is right here. Good stuff. Now, like, sneak away. You've snuck. Consider yourself snuck. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Just send it. Okay, I'll take it. It's... Just blow me up. We knew that was coming. It's so hard to steer this thing, dude. Not to mention the wagon can hit the landmines. That's alright, as long as it's a controlled hit. You got nothing to worry about. Okay, just, just don't screw this one up. Just land that one. There you go. Now that you've landed that, you got nothing to worry about except for... Lowered pickup trucks. 
Good stuff. I had a feeling that one was not going to work out too well for us, but that's okay. What did I tell you about the lowered pickup trucks? By the way, I'll have you know, this is the least gory that this game gets. I turned off guts and gore, and it's still a little gross. Hey, we got the checkpoint. Really, as long as your soul gets the checkpoint, apparently your body does not matter too much. I don't think our soul's getting that one. So here's what I'm thinking. This one is a puzzle. The way that you approach this is uh, don't sweat the right direction. Totally fine. And instead, don't do it. Don't. Thank you. Thank you. Just drive in like a, a pattern that allows you to do like serpentine strats. So you go like this, you get on the sidewalk. That one was, that one was tough. I'm just going to level with you. That one was tough. It, it's way harder to drive this than you would expect. I never thought I would long for a return to the normal bike, but here we are. Really, Timmy? I know your name's John, but I gotta call you Timmy on that one. Out of, out of a mutual amount of disrespect. Good. Now get off the freaking road. You're at the finish line, brother. You're at the finish line. Just go. I can't believe you made it. That's incredible. 5,000th! Yo! Send it, dude. Next track. We've hired some Uber drivers to turn Jack and Jill's trip on its axis. Okay. I mean, you, technically nobody hires Uber drivers. Instead, they're uh, independent contractors for tax and benefits purposes. Too real? Okay. I gotta be honest, this just looks like a normal day of driving in Vancouver. So this is, I'm, I'm very familiar with having to dodge uh, cars in the bike lane. Usually I don't end up becoming part of the car. That, that's a new one for me. Now we should maybe throw some turbo on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, you did a little 360. Oh, no! <laughs> Jack, what the heck, dude? I haven't used turbo at all. We should be using some more turbo. I would never dispute that. Jill, that's real bad timing on that one. This level is not possible. Here's what I'm thinking. Just go around, drive in a completely unpredictable fashion. <laughs> Maybe you'll be okay. I was also thinking, what if you just yeeted it up the hill as fast as possible? And then use that momentum to try to carry you down. You know what I mean? Now, I, again, I've said this a lot while playing Guts and Glory. Why on the super easy levels are there checkpoints everywhere? And then on a level like this, the first checkpoint is almost a kilometer away. Well, half a kilometer away. It just doesn't... From I'm not, I'm not like mad or whatever. Let's try this path. I'm just like, I'm, I'm kind of befuddled from a design standpoint. That, that that was the approach, but... You know, it's been well established. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Just kind of bizarre to me. Hello. Hello. Your Uber driver's here. Jill, I'm gonna... Someone's gotta give this lady, like, a steering wheel back there. She's really screwing it up for me. It's it's the counterbalance that's sending me for a loop. Alright. For now, you're okay. Don't play chicken! I have received an achievement called Diabolical. Let me go. Let me... Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you, you know? You're, you're, you're like, why aren't you steering out of the way of the car? Uh, because the bike weighs three ounces, and then the wagon on the back is 400 tons. And it's whipping around at Mach 3000. 
So I'm not gonna lie to you, you know? Um, is the frustration starting to get to me a little bit? It is, and that's unbecoming of me. Um, especially considering the, the difficulty level of, like, Mario Maker levels I've been tackling recently. Um, to, to face a, a challenge like this and get bodied is a little embarrassing, I suppose, but... I'm also, like, the Mario Maker level was designed to be beaten with a certain level of strategy. Like, I just... Why why put the checkpoint so far away? It's just, like, it's... It's, it, it's just a question that I have for the developer. Is like, why would you put the checkpoint so... Like, why... Why would you put the checkpoint just, like, 100 meters away? That still seems reasonably challenging, but, like, it could be a fun time. This is just... Is this what you enjoy watching? Not you in the audience, I already know the answer to that one. But, like, you know... This happened in QA testing, and you went, yeah, this is my jam right here. Maybe, maybe not. Every time it does the camera thing, it seems to show us there's a checkpoint back here. Now I'm realizing that's the previous... It's the previous finish line. Okay. So what we're gonna do is get killed easily, and then we're gonna, um... Just yeet it as fast as possible. Okay! Just keep that as close, the horizontal, directly behind you as you can. No! We had been freed from the wagon. The wagon had been bisected. Just drive me to the finish line. I never would have thought that was possible. Oh my god, the wagon, dude. This is the face of a man who's having the time of his life. I've had the time of my life, and I have rarely felt like this before. Yes, I swear. It's the truth, and I owe it all to Daniel Giesling. I've... There you go. Good serpentine strategies. Good serpentine strategies. You've made it a sixth of the way there. The hard part was almost over. Okay? I mean, I don't... I feel like the road is not any easier than the than the other paths, but good, 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 good. Not, you know, I'm wrong. These guys are not Vancouver drivers because they're actually responding to the environment around them. They're actually swerving to hit me, which is a a level of. Vehicular agility, I, I rarely see on Highway 1. I gotta admit, it was an incredible vector. You got me there. Okay, what if we try this side? This side of the suburbs. Hit the, hit the brakes, brother. Oh, well, you know, you should have strapped in. You should have strapped in for that one, John. Swerve. Look at that, the most incredible game of chicken ever played. Jill, I'm gonna need you to take one for the team here and just let go, please. We're toasted, dude. We're toasted. We're toasted. We're part of the car. Any chance you'll just drive to the checkpoint? Honestly, I, I thought that was legitimately our best chance. Okay, my, my next strat, because I think using your brain is probably more valuable on this one than, than just hoping for the best. The cars can fly. Um, I was thinking, like, open space is not our friend. What is our friend? We're free. Oh, my. Oh. No, 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 no. Just let me go. What is our friend is dipping between as many car-sized obstacles as possible. I hear him. I hear No, not the- No, no, no! No, no. The end is in sight, dude. 
I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Surely, we're at 15 minutes. Not on our timer, but on the video timer. Any second now, the Google timer is going to go off. But I think just hitting that checkpoint is a glimmer of hope in an otherwise dark video. <laughs> Please. My only hope is to get the wagon removed. Oh, hello. I'll sit in the back. Don't you mind? There it goes. I'll give this one more try. Look at this. Just hold forward forehead. Look at that. Two cars already deked out of their jock straps. That's all right. We made it with one arm last time. This seems bad. Unless we take the ultimate pivot. Look at that. The Jeremy. All right. Well, that's Guts and Glory, Episode 5. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. GoldenGoblet.net to check and see how we're doing and how everybody else is doing. And check out Malf and Dan's perspectives as well. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!